All right, this is Michael Lee with The Road to My Ride. We're here at the 2017 SEMA Show, yeah. Las Vegas, Nevada. I am here with Sarah Price, uh, star of motocross, off-road racing, I guess more recently uh, Stadium Super Trucks. Stadium Super Trucks, yeah. Uh, thank you for spending a few minutes with me. Thank you so much. It's, it's really good to be here at SEMA and especially in the K&M booth and excited yes. to get the chance to talk to you guys. Well, thank you much. Um, first off, uh, tell me, how did you get your start in racing? Uh, when I was eight years old, my parents got me my first motorcycle. Okay. And ever since I threw my leg over that, <laughs> it's been the end. So, that, that's it, right? Yep, that's right. it. Ever since that, I just kept climbing. I became yes. professional in motocross at 16 years old. I wow. the next games, and okay. then slowly after that, I transferred into four wheels. Okay, well, tell me briefly, what was the whole X Games experience like? X Games is incredible. Yeah. It's really awesome to have such a great organization uh, support athletes, and it really highlights athletes as stars. And right. I believe that's important because, you know, yes. athletes, they dedicate their whole entire life to winning a medal at X Games. Absolutely. So it, it's a pretty incredible experience, and I'm very honored to be a part of it. Wonderful. Now, you told me before we started taping here something about, uh, I guess you were the, the Hoonigans Wanted winner. Yep. Now, tell us a little bit about what that entails. What happened? Had, yeah. So, Hoonigan, they had uh, the Hoonigans Next Wanted um, okay. competition. And so with that, there was a couple hundred females that participated. Okay. They narrowed it down to six. We had tons of challenges with a Fiat 124 Spider. Okay. And in the end, I was the winner. It was yep. a great time. The Hoonigan people are just amazing. Yeah. And what you got to do if you won that was race a 124 Spider rally car, which is okay. a production car right. from Fiat that comes from Italy, ready to go on the rally course. Now, do they have to make it a hard top for that? Or it, it is a hard top. Okay, yeah. 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 It's a, a six-speed sequential. It makes almost 400 horsepower, anti-lag. It is, it's quite an interesting car. And if you're here, yeah. check it out at FCA. It's on display over there. Absolutely. And what... Uh, What's the experience like of doing a hill climb versus other things you've done? Uh, minimal. I really okay. didn't have much uh, okay. tarmac experience. Right. So coming into the street, it's been a, a, quite a learning curve for me, but it's been a great time. And, you know, I had the Hoonigan people helping yeah. me along the way and right. kind of learning these new things, and we've been documenting it. So it's been it's been a, an awesome time. Okay. It really has been. Wonderful. Uh, so now how long have you been driving the Stadium Super Trucks? Uh, so Stadium Super Trucks in 2000. Okay. my first ever race in a stadium super truck. I got signed for the rest of the year. Uh -huh. um, had a great run in stadium super trucks. And then this year I've transferred over to Desert Racing, racing the RPM off-road 6100 truck okay. truck. Okay, now, now where do you race those trucks? Is it domestic, international? Um, it's domestic as of right now. Okay. Uh, next year we're looking to go international to Baja in Mexico. But um, yeah, so we're racing the 6100 and Best in the Desert series. It's a wow. series local to the US. Okay. And it's been a great time. Well, tell me briefly, the, the super trucks, you go off ramps and stuff, right? Yep. What, what in the world is that like, and how do they keep you from hurting your back? <laughs> so those trucks, the, the suspension's really incredible. Okay. You, uh, they, they have them pretty loose, so you have a lot of body roll. You're going around those corners and yeah. hiking the front wheel. And yeah. It's pretty insane looking, especially from a spectator's view, so it's right. entertaining for the crowd. It's a show. Yeah, it definitely is. And yeah. Uh, yeah, we put metal ramps out in the course. We follow with any cars and you know those ramps they send you very far and you're heading them about 80 miles an hour you know reaching speeds of a 130. Yeah well I guess uh, having uh, started out in motocross hitting ramps was, was nothing really new for you. Yeah. Just no. a bigger vehicle to do it in. Right. Right. Coming from motocross it's built me such a great foundation and to yeah. transfer that over into cars it's been phenomenal for me because it just gives yeah. me that extra edge. Absolutely. Uh, so far of everything you've raced, what's your favorite type of racing? Or are they all just Ooh, great? That's a hard <laughs> that's one. That's a hard Pick one, yeah. Your favorite. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can honestly say motocross will always be my true passion. Yeah. You know, I, I spent my childhood doing that. Right, right. Um, but nothing compares to being in a trophy truck. Yeah. So yeah. going over four, four foot bumps and a truck going 130, Ooh. nothing like that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm brave enough for that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, what, uh, moving forward, are your racing goals? What, what are you still looking at moving ahead? Uh, looking ahead, you know, uh, this next year, I really am focused on the trophy truck. Right. I want to go into Baja and race the Sporting National Series this next year. 
Okay. And as well as Hoonigan and us have some projects coming up, so it's yep. looking positive. We might go rallying in the Fiat some more. So that stay that sounds fun. That. that sounds fun. Uh, and finally. Um, what has it been like, you know, from the perspective of being a woman in motorsports? Because you, you hear about, oh, sometimes women may have it a little tougher. I mean, what's been your experience in that? You know, um, I always like to say, when that helmet goes on, we're a racer. Doesn't matter what gender. Yeah. Doesn't matter anything besides the fact that you're going out there on that track to do the best that you can. Right. And you know, it, it's very awesome because the motorsport community has been very supportive of uh, having a female out there and yeah. the competitors themselves when they they come off the track and they realize they've been beat by a girl. They they most of the time are really awesome about it and yeah. respectable. So yeah, it's pretty cool to see that and be a part of that. So yeah. it's uh it's been great. Okay. Well, Sarah, I do thank you again for spending a few minutes with us. Awesome. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you, ma'am. All right. <laughs>